What's going on filmmakers, I'm Alexander Don, and today I wanna to show you three different lighting techniques using just one light. Let's begin. This is the light that we're gonna use. It's an Analyte Forza 60C with a projector lens. The Analyte Forza 60C, it's a full color light and the projector lens helps us shape our light better. I'm gonna start with the first lighting, which is the most simple from all three. And that is where I create a circle on the wall. And that circle is very easy to do whenever you use a projector lens. So basically this projector lens is just an add-on to your lighting. So you can take it off and you can put the light back in. And this add-on adds a lot of versatility to your light. Now, because this light is a full spectrum RGB, it's very nice and easy to play with. Now, let me show you what this does by itself. So when you part this on and you orient it towards a wall or something, you will have a circle right away, which looks quite nice, right? Now, this circle can be very easy controlled with this flex here on the projector. So basically, I can create different kind of shapes only by adjusting this flags. And like I said, because it's RGB, I can have different kind of colors on the wall. I can change the colors into whatever I want, which is really nice because you can control this light quite a lot and it's very useful on set. Like I said, controlling lighting on set is very difficult, but when you have something like this, it becomes very easy. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but my light is over here. Uh, there is quite a distance between the light and the background because I wanted the circle to be uh, big enough so I can have her in the shot. I'm shooting with the FX30, so let's begin. All right, so if I wanna create something more interesting and different with my background, I can add some gobo filters inside this projector lens and create a different kind of form on the wall. So I'm gonna try with this one and make the focus. And as you can see, I can create something really interesting. Or what I can do next is to add a blinds filter and make it look like it's night and the light comes through the window. Let me show you. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next shot, which is a little bit more difficult. So what I did here was to have one light that mimics a tree lighting setup. So we have the Forza 60C with a projector making a backlight on our actress. Then using a white reflector, we have a bounce that comes on her face and lights this part up. We have a little bit of shadow here because there's no light lining that side. And to add a little bit of depth in the background, we have another reflector right here that reflects a yellow light here on the wall. So using this setup, we managed to recreate a tree lighting setup with just one light. Material lighting is gonna be very interesting. So we have our model there and the lighting is behind her. And to avoid spill, if she moves, I have here a black flag. Now I'm gonna place my camera and show you how it looks. And you're gonna see how it looks with and without haze. We're gonna add haze afterwards. <music> the footage doesn't look very interesting. And to make it more spicy, we need haze. But to make haze, we're gonna use something that I'm very excited about. Let me show you. This right here is the Smoke Genie, a portable smoke machine that allows you to take your haze smoke everywhere you go. And as you can see, it's a small footprint with ton of accessories 
and you will be amazed of what this thing can do. Let me show you. So you basically take it out of the box, you power it on and it will work instantly. And the quality of the smoke it does, it's really impressive. You can fill up a room with just this small haze machine. Now to make that beautiful haze look, we need this accessory. And when we put this accessory on this device, you can see how smooth the smoke looks and how beautiful this uh, light rays look. It, it's super professional. And guys, I wanna tell you, I love the smoke machine. This will change the game a lot. Now let me show you the shots. I decided to do another lighting setup uh, with the same lights but I added the bounce and I lifted up my light and as you can see it looks very good. Our light beam is now more visible and it gives a really nice vibe so let's see the footage. Alright guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe and until next time let me know in the comments what other kind of lighting situations you want me to reproduce and show you how it's done. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next one. Peace.